Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lil Tries. Today we are trying out the demo for Love Ghosty. I'm so excited. I actually got gifted this demo to try out. I got sent the key and I'm so excited to try it out. It looks so cute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look how cute it is. I think it's like a ghosty little love matching game from what i've seen i think you like match up characters and stuff which is right up my alley i think this will be very sweet and wholesome so i'm very excited to try it out so let's get straight into it i guess let's do it also isn't this music the sweetest ever i really hope it's not too loud or too quiet it's so stinking cute let's start a new game question mark question mark question mark Psst. hey are you awake oh <gasps> hello haha <laughs> just kidding you're dead <laughs> Um, okay, thanks. <laughs> no beating around the bush there, just straight to the point. We love to see it. But the good news is you're a ghost. I died? Or that's good news. I'm gonna say that's good news, question mark. Yeah, I guess it's nicer news after you get the whole you're dead thing. They have a point, dot, dot, dot. I love their little blushy cheeks is hearts. How cute is that? Heart blushy cheeks. Okay, well, now that we're over it, let me introduce myself. I'm Ghostina. <laughs> I love her. And I'm your mentor for the afterlife. Look at her cute face. Oh my goodness. I need a plushie of these little ghost characters right now. They're so cute. Guess what we do in the afterlife? Matchmaking. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. I'm kind of on board for it, you know. Contrary to popular belief, we don't just scare people, even though that can be pretty fun. I love Ghostina. She's such a vibe. We love watching romances bloom and making people happy. Aw, fun fact. Did you know ghost-driven romances are 20 times more successful than dating apps? Dang, let's go. They're kind of pros at this whole romance situation oh my god look at her eyes <laughs> we just don't get the credit for it oh yo everyone just take a moment to credit the matchmaking ghosts because we're dead so why are you doing it then i died i feel like we should be stuck on the i died comment still not over it huh anyway welcome to the manor oh wow um <laughs> looks a bit dingy in there we can either say i get a house or where is everyone? I'm gonna say where is everyone because uh, I'm curious and I don't wanna be alone. I turned them all into ghosts. Oh my God, does she kill people? Wait, what? Just kidding. Anyways, no one lives here. Don't worry, that will change soon. I put up a sign that says free rent in this definitely not haunted house out in the front. Mm, that will work, that will definitely work. So we're gonna get some gullible people moving in. Now, before people move in, let's begin your training. Ooh, are you ready to meet your first resident? Yeah, of course we are. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. The art style, are you joking? If you look closely, it's actually a fake one that I set up to practice with. <laughs> this is so cute. I drew all of this myself. My goodness, Ghostina is Loki an artist. Wait, looks kind of shabby or looks great? We're obviously going to compliment her. This looks amazing, Ghostina. Thanks. I was worried it was almost too good, you know? <laughs> I love her. Anyway, residents live their lives and have no idea you're here. But you can still make a difference. First, we need items. Meet me in the attic. Oh, okay. We'll meet you up there. Don't you worry. Okay, to move, we're just using like either key this is so nice that you can use like arrow keys or you can use w a s d this is really nice as a left-handed person because i usually have to do like a claw for my hand i use like my keyboard and mouse left-handedly but i have a right-handed keyboard so i usually have to do like a claw for my like w a s d key but now i can just use arrow keys i mean i know i could rebind keys in games but like uh, i don't do that <laughs> Also, we've got a tab to toggle zoom. Okay, meet Ghostina in the attic. This is cool. I love the sound effects. Can y'all hear them? Wow, look at this. We go through walls. It's like portals. That's so cool. Okay, let's speak to you. Hi, Ghostina. You know how you mysteriously lose a sock in the laundry? That was probably a ghost. We like taking stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm definitely haunted because I'm always losing socks. When you see something you like, you can take it. This is amazing. <laughs> but it costs you an arbitrary ghost action point. Don't ask why. Okay, so do we get like four of those a day or something? Um, I'm gonna say why, even though she told me not to. Listen, who's been a ghost longer? Do you know how ghosts work? 
We have action points. It's a ghost thing. Okay, lesson learned. I'm not going to question Ghostina in the future. Maybe when you were alive, you had to sleep. But when you're a ghost, you have action points. Okay, makes total sense, honestly. Anyway, try grabbing this apple on the ground now. Apple shouldn't be on the ground anyways. I wholeheartedly agree. Okay, space to interact with items. It's mine now. We steal it for one action point. We only have four right now. I'm sure we'll probably build up more, hopefully, because four is not many. Apple. Doctors hate this one secret. That's so funny. It's such a witty game already. I love this. Value for for E, for gold, I guess. And the tag is simple. Okay, not to like diminish the apple or anything. Poor little simple apple. Let's steal it. Steal. Nice. Now that we have an item, there are a couple things we can do. One option is to sell it on the ghost internet. <laughs> okay. See that computer over there? Yes, I see it. From there, you can sell items for ghost money. And you can also buy nicer items that you can't find in the manor. Wow. Feel free to take a look. Whenever you're ready, pick a resident and go to their room for your next lesson. I'll meet you there. Okay, so people have moved in already. Hold shift to sprint while moving. Okay. Whoa, look at us. We're so speedy. I kind of like being zoomed out. Oh, the oh yeah, no, we haven't got residents yet. <laughs> They're just the fake ones. Oh my god, the sound effects. When we go through walls. Ew, I hate it. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm turning that down. Okay, let's check the laptop. Eep, bay. <laughs> and dead it? No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we can buy and sell items. We get next day delivery. Let's go. Ooh, boombox, fancy painting, trophy. And we can sell our apple. Should I sell it? I'm gonna sell it. We got four gold now, or four simoleons, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, that's really cool. I don't know if I was supposed to sell that. I might have needed it for the tutorial. I hope not. Okay, speak with Ghostina in a residence room. Hi. Ooh, you picked Burbson. Good choice. She's named the residence. I love her so much. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, now we just need that. You sold the apple? Uh, no, not entirely. I'm so sorry. Do I have to buy it back? Sigh. Well, guess we'll have to continue with this. Oh my god, I love how that's incorporated into the tutorial. They just knew that someone was gonna sell the apple. And that someone was me. It's a training apple I keep for emergencies. I'm sure you know what else ghosts can do with apples. Uh, yeah, totally. I know. Uh, eat them, haunt them. I'm gonna say haunt them. What? How would that even work? Do apples feel fear <laughs> anyway we can gift things to residents but we can't just say this gift was from a ghost in your house that you can't see but is actively watching you right now <laughs> i can see how that can be a problem trust me i did that ghostina is everything we all need a bestie like ghostina i swear worst 30 years ever i really thought i'd win them over i just love this gal i feel like she must have some really good stories i kind of just want to like you know get to know her like take her out for dinner or something hear about her day hear about her life i want to hear all those life stories i bet she's full of them <laughs> how long has she been haunting for i would love to know so when you leave a gift say it's from someone else in the house oh is this gonna be like matchmaking then gifting requires action points but you'll be able to make pairs of residents closer with your gifts okay try gifting the apple in this spot and pick which resident you want to gift it from okay interact with the gift spot here also i love how the art on the wall is literally a self-portrait of ghostina i love it high in fiber because it's made of paper <laughs> i love this okay let's use the fake apple and let's send it from let's do bearson sure right let's use an action point to gift ah they're a cute couple look at you i guess you're a supernatural Supernatural. Oh my gosh, the puns. Ghostina, babe. Are you good? I'm going to say, how long have you been waiting on that joke? I've been dying to tell you the whole time. <laughs> Now remember, residents all have different things they like. The better the gift, the better the effect on their relationships. All right, looks like you have two actions left for the day. Let me show you what else you can do. Speak with Ghostina at the chore board, okay? Okay, let's go to the chore board. Hello, Ghostina. Today's chores. Thankfully, every resident who ends up living here agrees to work together to make this house better. Oh, we love to see it. Little community vibes. They put up this handy chore board here. Actually, I put it up. 
but it's not like I can tell them that. None of them wondered where it came from. Why would you make them do chores? I'm gonna say the top one. Nope. I specifically put a note that said from nobody suspicious. I would not question that either, to be fair. So we should be in the clear. From here, you can assign residents to chores to do at the end of the day. Let's try it out. Interact with the chore board. Let's go. Every day, there are three types of chores. Dates, self-care, and house helper. Each of these cost ghost action points, so only assign the ones you want. Plus, some residents will like certain chores more than others. Select a slot on a chore to learn more about it and assign a resident. Um, sing karaoke, do breathing exercises, or vacuum. Let's go for the breathing exercise. I think that's a nice one. Who should we make do it? Everyone's feeling kind of neutral, so it can help all of their happiness. I'm gonna go for Burbson since we gave them the apple already. This should make them real happy. Nice, you can assign another chore or if you're ready to move on, finalize your assignments with the assign button. Okay, let's assign because we only have like one point left after this. So let's just go for one today. And that's how a typical day would go. You have a limited number of ghost action points per day. So keep that in mind when deciding what to do. As residents care more for each other, you'll be able to watch their relationship grow. With enough love, they'll be a new development in their relationship that you can unlock and watch. That's so cute. And now you've completed your training. Congrats. You are now a certified ghost. Why, well, thank you. Oh my God. She gave me a certificate. Certificate for being a ghost. Good job with a little star. But here's your award. Your very own ghost certificate. She's so cute. I'm just kidding. Look here. We got tons of resident applications during your training. As your real reward. Wait, I don't get to keep that as a reward. I would have put that on my wall. I would have hung it over my bed, even though I don't sleep. You get to choose the first four residents you want to move in. Okay. <gasps> Look at the residents. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got Mina. Pronouns, she, her. Oh my gosh, I love that they include pronouns. Birthday, November 10th. Reason for moving. Need my own space. I can live just fine on my own. Okay, she seems sassy. Okay. Okay, this one is a little giraffe named Gerard. Love that. Pronouns he, him. Birthday, February 4th. Reason for moving. Had my heart broken. Everything reminds me of her, so here I am. We're definitely going for this plant one. Calathea. Pronouns she, her. Birthday, March 21st. Reason for moving. I've always lived on my own because honestly, you're your own best roommate. But I should probably talk to other people, right? Absolutely. We've got Noah. Pronouns she, her. September 10th for birthday. Reason for moving needs to get out of my hometown it's so boring and then we've got all in he him birthday june 7th reason for moving would like to experience what it's like to live as a peasant question will this all be mine or will i have roommates um okay i wasn't expecting that from all in right we're definitely going for calathea for sure i think we should go for gerard because he's emo boy and i love him i kind of want to go for all in because he's a frog even though he doesn't seem the nicest <laughs> his personality but he's a frog and he's really cute so we're going for Olin and finally it's between Noir and Mina I don't know I think we're gonna go for Noir okay let's continue well we all have ghost stuff to do so i'm gonna leave you here to do what you want in the manor all four residents will be moving in tomorrow so try your best thanks ghostina i'll check in on you after three days welcome to your afterlife see you later <laughs> bye day one so dramatic a resident is arriving it's the frog oh my gosh this is so dramatic Look at this! Wow! It's all in! This is everything! Holy butts! Okay, let's see this one. The music! Yo, it's Noir! Dang! <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> Look at all their clothes! Okay, it's Noir. Next one. <gasps> Emo boy! Gerard! <laughs> This is so cool! <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, there we go! He graffitied! <laughs> Gerard, and finally, my personal favourite, Calathea. <gasps> She's so cute! She looks nervous! Oh, she's gonna bring in all her plants. I love her. 
Calathea, little plant baby girl. This is so cute. Okay. Oh, we got some items here. I guess. We just got to get started with some gifts, right? I guess we can like look around a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's a book here. Can I read that? Dear diary, my heart feels used and I'm not sure I'll ever get over her. But I think it's about time I start with something brand new. Oh my gosh, he's such a sad little emo boy. We love him. Gerard. Okay, first gift is going for Gerard. Maybe this one could be good. Let me zoom in a bit. This looks like a sad painting. I think we should give him this. Okay, so if I interact, I need to steal for one. Artsy, dark, and noisy. Let's take it. I stole it. <laughs> it's mine now. And I'm going to gift it to Gerard. And I think I'm going to gift it from Calathea. I just think that a cute little emo guy would love Calathea. <laughs> I should probably read other people's diaries first, maybe, because I see one down in Olin's room too. But I just want to gift this. I think it will be so cute. So I'm gifting it from Calathea. Plant Gally Pop and Emo Boy will be so cute together. Do we get to see him open it? <gasps> he loved it! Oh my gosh! Gerard loves the stressful painting. Will he hang it up? Discovered Gerard loves dark things. I knew he would. He loves noisy things. And that is everything we discovered. Okay. Where's he going? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You have a new relationship talk to view. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Sigh. They all have little hearts in their eyes as well. How sweet is that? Imagine skipping this. Imagine pressing F right now and skipping this cutscene. Okay, they're just dot dot dotting at each other. Okay, it's fine. It's the first introduction. This is okay. Sigh. <laughs> Gerard, you're not subtle at all, babes. Is there something I can help you with? There is something nobody can help me with. My heart is lying here, shattered on the floor, in a million pieces, never to be put back together again. Gerard, baby boy. Well then, here. Hmm? What's this? A broom. If it's all over the floor, you should at least move it out of the way so people won't step on it. <laughs> Calathea? <laughs> okay, she's like, listen, stop moping. Just move your shattered heart away from me. I don't want to get a little shattered heart shard in my foot. <laughs> well, what? I was speaking metaphorically. And I was speaking practically. I get that you're all emo boy about everything, but if you want to talk about it, talk about it. <gasps> oh no, maybe they're not getting along. If you want to stand around sighing loudly until someone talks to you, I don't think that's going to help. <gasps> Yo, she's so sassy. Calathea, why are you being like this? Sigh, truly, I am alone. Aw, Gerard, I want to give him a hug. That's so sad. She didn't have to stomp on his heart even more. Gerard, you are not alone. Oh, yes, I'm still here. Calathea, that's so... But I'm leaving now. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And then you will be alone. Oh my god, why is she being like this? <laughs> Bye. <gasps> okay, I don't think that they're... Uh... <laughs> I don't think they're like a good match necessarily. Dot dot dot. Uh oh. <laughs> That's kind of a shame. What do these buttons do as well? One, current items. Two, residence. And three, and day. Okay. I want to check on the residents. Can I like see more about them? Okay. So, Olin, birthday, 7th of June. We know that already. His current mood is neutral. He's actually a human prince of the frog kingdom. Okay. We don't know his interests yet. He has no relationship with anyone. Okay. I want to check on everyone else's, I guess. Noir's, we still don't really know much about her, probably. She's not like the other sheep. Do you know what? Maybe her and Gerard would go well together. What else do we know about her? No interests and no relationships yet. What about Gerard? I don't think he's gonna like Calathea. He often speaks in song lyrics. I mean, don't we all? Okay, interests we know dark and noisy. Oh, he does have love with Calathea. Maybe he likes the hard kind of love, like, you know, tough love kind of. <laughs> she highly values her time and love has never been a priority. Oh, that's gonna be tricky then. If she doesn't really want love, that's gonna be tricky to set her up maybe. I guess she's just gotta really like the person. And she does have a heart with Gerard, so that is good. Okay, let's see what we can do. Should I look in some more diaries? I think that could be fun. Dear diary, I've come to establish a new kingdom. This may be no frog kingdom, but it's certainly a, a uh, house. <laughs> Any other diaries around here? Noirs, let's check hers. 
Dear Diary, this house is about to become a whole lot more fashionable. I've already put some ideas for how to make this place fabulous. Okay. <laughs> and Calathea's, I'm guessing she's got one too. Yes, she does. Dear Diary, I like this place, even though it's always dark and scary. I feel like the sunshine here is delicious. <laughs> okay. We can also go outside. I wonder if we can check our mail. Do we have anything? I guess when we order things, they'll be in there. But until then, maybe nothing. What should we spend our last points doing? Maybe a chore? Who should we do? We can do definitely not a date, walk through the park. We could do some self-care, relax with a coloring book or sort the mail house helper. So I'm thinking maybe some self-care would be good because they've just moved. They need to settle in. Probably a date is too early right now. Like it's too early to set someone up, right? So let's go for some self-care. I think that'll be nice. Relax with a coloring book. And who should we make do this? I'm thinking, do you know, I kind of want to give it to Gerard. I just feel like he needs this pick me up. But like, we've invested a lot into him already. So maybe we should go for like Noir. I think she'd like it. And we're gonna assign it. Yay. We only have one more action point. We can check on the laptop. Oh my gosh, what is this? So these are some frequently asked questions about gifting. How do I know if a gift is good? Are there bad gifts? Every gift boosts happiness and romance, but if they really like the gift, you can see tons of heart emojis fly out of them faster. We saw that with Gerard, let's go. How do I know who I want to match me? Oh my god, everyone is so cute, but I don't want to accidentally commit the wrong pair of residents. How did you decide who to ship? <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, you can totally ship them around with each other to figure out who you really want to focus on later. How did you know that? It takes some time to fully develop their feelings, so you can experiment with couples before they fully commit. Okay, so we don't have to like know right away. Help, I sold my apple during training. <laughs> I got an apple during training, but I sold it by accident. Help, what do I do? I don't want to get in trouble. It's my first day. It's okay, don't worry, they have backups. What? I didn't know you could sell it. I thought we were supposed to keep it. Look at their names as well. Where did my legs go? Ghostina fan 73 that's me. That is definitely me. You think they wouldn't account for ghosts selling their apples in training? Hee <laughs> hee, I sold mine and got money for it. <laughs> this is everything, I love it. Okay, let's look on Eep Bay. Could we buy anything yet? We can't. We have no money. A ghost pepper, I love that so much. Dress with pockets? Yo, I bet the Noir would like that. Because they said they were into fashion, right? I think they said something about fashion. And they also arrived with loads of clothes. Also, fancy painting. Olin would definitely like that too. He seems like a fancy painting lover. <laughs> okay. There's not tons we could do, so I guess I'm gonna steal an item and that will be like all the points spent. I think I'll go for this celery because we can give this to Calathea tomorrow. So let's steal this. Mine! And now we need to end the day because we're out of actions. <gasps> day one complete. Okay, so self-care helped a little bit, not tons, but a little bit. The self-care task was okay. Noir is a little happier. So I guess she's not artsy or creative then maybe because it didn't help her tons, unfortunately, but that's okay. And Gerard liked his gift a lot. That's so cute. And we discovered that Gerard is dark and noisy. Cool. Look at this, the art style is so pretty. I can't get over it. Day two, oh my gosh. This is gonna go so quickly. I don't want it to go quick. Oh, look at all the new items. Oh my gosh, there's some juice, grape juice. There's a hat down here. Gerard has hung up his painting. We've got pizza, pineapple pizza down here. Oh my goodness. Right, let's start by reading some diaries. Can we? Wait, I can't read their diaries today. Wait, I can read Gerard's. I guess nothing happened for them to write in their diaries, so Gerard is the only one who wrote anything. Dear Diary, I received a stressful painting from Calathea. I hate a lot of things, but I hate this less. He's so edgy, I love him. Okay, cool. Let's go and gift the celery to Calathea. Oh, she's gone. Wait, can we see them? They were talking. I wonder if they've met each other now. Let's check. Yeah, Noir's got a tiny sliver of a friendship with Calathea now. That's so cool. So they do just like go and like make friends, even if like you don't set them up to. That's cool to know. Where is Calathea now? She's such a social butterfly. She's off with Olin too. She's just introducing herself to everyone. Okay, I kind of want to gift her her gift right now. So let's put it in her gift spot. We'll put her celery down. I'm sure she's going to love this. She's into plants. I think she'll like it. Also, it's simple and serious. She's definitely serious for sure. And maybe we should gift it from Noir. Since she went out of her way to go and talk to her first, I'm gonna do it from Noir. I think that'll be cute. Hopefully she likes it. 
Oh, look at her. Oh, okay. She had quite a bit of happiness. Not as much as Gerard had. Gerard had so much love for the other painting, but she like medium liked the celery, I guess. Okay, should we do a chore or should we do another present? Kind of want to do another present. I can't lie. Hmm. I think presents are fun. Should we go for the hat? Or maybe like a painting? Calathea is going to talk to everyone today. Look at her. I wish I could like listen to their conversations. They're talking about cheese. Love that for them. You know, I would talk about cheese too, to be fair. Okay, let's just look at all of the items. So this one's got the tags artsy, bright, and quiet. This one has got serious and quiet, sweet and playful. Hmm, okay. And the hat, classic and fashionable. I could give that to Noir. I think they were into the fashion. Pizza, messy and simple. 57% pineapple, 47% anchovies, and 0% bones. I mean, I guess that's good. <laughs> None of them I think would relate to all in. I feel like he'll want like a crown or something, you know? I think I'm gonna go for the hats. But steal this hat and I'm gonna go and gift it to Noir and see if she likes this item. Hopefully she does. Who should I gift it from? Maybe, hmm, let's do it from Olin. Let's see, we haven't done anything from Olin yet. Let's try it. Oh, I hope she likes it. Look at her, fingies crossed. Oh, she loved it! Let's go! Noir loves her cowboy hat. We didn't get that pop-up with Calathea. Discovered Noir loves fashionable things. Okay, so Calathea's like, celery is not my exciting gift. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Celery is not that exciting, right? Okay, but we didn't get like a friendship thingy. Like they didn't go and talk to each other, which is kind of sad. Should I do a chore with my last point? I feel like the days go so quick. <laughs> we have definitely not a date, visit a coffee shop. We have self-care, play video games, or house helper do laundry. Do we have to do the house helper? I feel like that won't make them happy, will it? Maybe things get dirty if we don't. I don't know. Play video games, nerdy and playful. I'm gonna select Olin for this and see if he might be a playful kind of person. So let's go for that. And this is gonna be our last point, so let's do it. Okay, hopefully he liked it. Everyone's going around and chatting to each other, which is so cute. And I am gonna have to head to bed and it's gonna have to be the next day already. These days are going so quick. He only partially liked it. The self-care task was okay. Olin is a little happier. So he's probably not nerdy or playful then I'm gonna guess. Day two summary gifts. So Noir loved her gift. Calathea just simply liked it, I think. And we discovered that Noir is fashionable. Let's freaking go. I wish we had some more points. I wonder if we unlock more maybe. We are now day three already. Noir is happier and has added to her room. Gerard is happier and has added to his room. Oh, he's put a little poster up. I want to see Noir's. She's added these little pictures on. That's so cute. And her little hat is on her bed, which seems impractical, but I love it. Any diaries to read? Let's see. Do you know what? Gerard writes in his diary so much. Dear diary, today I played soccer and got a yellow card. Life is so unfair. I love him. Poor guy. Oh, Olin also wrote in their diary. Dear diary, yesterday someone asked me if my crown is between my eyes. I honestly didn't know. What? Oh my gosh, is your crown between your eyes? I'm confused now. Okay, let's look at the gift options we have today. This looks cute, a coffee, hot bean water, active and classic. I don't know if anyone's gonna like that. Not sure about that one. We've got a fork. Oh, sorry, not a fork, a spork. Makes eating less efficient by trying to be more efficient. <laughs> so true. Complex and practical. What if Calathea likes this? I could see her being complex and practical. Maybe I'm gonna steal the spork. I love how it like goes in a puff of smoke. That's so cute. And let's gift it to Calathea. I hope she likes this, otherwise I'm lost. And we're gonna gift it from, let's try Olin. That's the person she's got the least friendship with right now. So maybe it'd be good to just, you know, build friendship with everyone. Gifting it from Olin. Hopefully she likes it. Come on Calathea, I've got my fingers crossed for you, babes. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, she loves it! Calafia loves the spork! Discovered, Calafia loves practical things. Okay, let's go! I was so happy we discovered something. I was feeling at a loss. Oh my gosh, we have a new relationship to talk. Hmm, where did my sacred chalice go? Let me go ask Calathea if she's seen it. Calathea, have you seen... What is going on? Uh, I can explain. What? Why do you have a bunch of cups in your room? Um... It's because... 
Oh my gosh, what is this? Ugh, never mind. I just want to find my chalice. What the heck? Why is he so angry at her? Here it is. I'll be taking this. Ah, Calathea. Why are there bugs in my secret chalice? Oh no, I don't think they're going to get along. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I promise I can explain. And now my secret chalice is broken. This is absurd. Uh-oh. I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at matching these couples. Maybe they all start bad. I don't know. I'm starting to question myself and my ghostly abilities. Honestly, I don't think I'm much of a matchmaker. Okay, let's look on Eat Bay. Anything new? A pickle in a cage? That's everything. I think Calathea would love that. I really do. But I can't afford anything yet. Maybe I should just be selling something. Let's look. Let's steal the most expensive thing. This is four. This is five. The pizza goes for more than the cup. This is ten okay and the apple is gonna be yeah just four so let's steal this painting and tomorrow we'll have 14 if i sell this yeah i'll have 14 gold tomorrow maybe i should even sell another item let's sell the pizza as well and now i have 19 gold that's pretty good actually let's go i guess we've got to end the day though because we have run out of ghost action points that went so quickly. Okay, we got our summary. Calathea loved her spork and we discovered she's practical. So how did your first three days go? Let's see. Oh, well, I guess that's pretty good for a first timer. Oh no, could I have done better? I probably could have. This is the first time you've been dead, right? <laughs> yes, I guess so. I certainly hope so. How many times have you died? I'm gonna ask the question, you know. Just once, so far. Honestly, when we're in the house, I miss Ghostina with all my heart. Either way, you tried your best. Oh no, I wish I could have gotten a better response. I'm so sad now. Well, I guess things could have gone better. Was I supposed to match them up in three days? Maybe I should have focused on one couple. Oh well, I wanted to just do all of them, you know? So everyone got a little bit of love in. The real reward here is your kindness helped blossom love and a happier home. Aww. The more you develop resident relationships and the more resident happiness you bring, the more relationships you get. Oh, I bet you'll be able to buy more action points of those. Ghosts love to collect and spend these and you can unlock lots of cool stuff with them. Looking for that special day or can't find the perfect gift? Unlock some new ones at my store. The possibilities are endless. Until we run out of things in my store. <laughs> Wait, and also because she has a store that means we can always go in and check on her. I love this. You can match make any pair of residents you want. Oh, so you can literally force any of them to like eventually like each other. That's kind of wild. We have ultimate power here. And every resident has a completely different story based on who they've developed a relationship with. That's really cool. Now go out there and see what kind of world you can make. Ooh, <laughs> that's so cool. Dot, dot, dot. Nah, I'll be here if you want to buy something. <laughs> Let's see how you did. Yo, we got 33 points. That's pretty good. Look at all the points we got things for. Definitely Gerard was our best. Actually, no, Noir was our best, apparently. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, we got loads of points. R loads of relationships. Oh, look what we can do. Unlock with 15, so we could do two of these. So upgrade information, amateur ghosty, gain one action point. Yes, I definitely want to do that. I definitely, definitely want to do that. I don't even have to look at the other one, but I will now look at the other one. <laughs> Unlock a mini game that earns more coins. Yes, that sounds amazing. Let's do that too. Cool. Okay, we only have three left now, <laughs> but we've got two new upgrades. That's really cool. I guess we're finished in the shop because we kind of bought everything we could. All right, now it's time to move on to the next phase. Super death. Oh god. You're gonna die again and you'll have a super afterlife. What? Just kidding. You're gonna go back to the manor to develop more relationships. She's such a tease. Turns out the other ghosties really like romances you're building and want to see more. Let's go. We're amazing at this. Plus, I'll come visit with my shop in another three days. <gasps> so she comes back every three days. I love that. So for the good of romance, the good of joy in the world, and most importantly, the good of my merchandise shop, <laughs> get out there and make some more romances bloom. Okay, Ghostina, thank you. Day four. Calathea is happier and added to her room. And everyone is happier and added to the common rooms. <gasps> New items. And we can check the laptop for Eep mail access. Yo, that's so cool. Oh, look at this. 
this. This little ramen or something. Look at her room. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, well, this was so, so much fun. But I think that is where we're going to wrap up for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little start to the demo. I would love to play this again if you fancy. And you should definitely check out the game um, when it comes out and play it and enjoy it. I'm so excited for y'all to play the demo. Yeah, thank you so much again for the gifted key. I'm so happy I got to play this and share it with you all. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Lil Tries. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone!